Hi guys, Andy here from dreamwares.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how to create a web page in Photoshop um, by utilizing the slice tool. Okay, so I've just made this very basic layout and now what we need to do is slice the layout into different um, sections. And we want to do that because if we slice it into different sections then we're going to add hot, um, well, hyperlinks to each sec like each um, slice that we create. So I need to um, make a slice of the home page and then when it's all compiled that'll be a separate image and I can add a hyperlink to that image so that I can link to the home page. Okay, so we're just gonna add slices to everything, the content, logo, home, contact about us, copyright slash footer, we'll just we'll um just add a layer to that, um, a slice to that rather. And now you can go in your slice select tool and name all of your uh slices. I recommend that you name all the slices because when it comes to adding hyperlinks to them you won't know which is which unless you've added names to them when you go into the HTML file. So, just I'm just quickly naming all of these about us um, content, and that just means that it's much easier to kind of work out what is what's what when it comes to looking at the HTML file that we're going to create. Copyright. As for the dimensions, I'm using 1024 by 720. Um, it's completely optional what you use, just find out what the kind of most most used dimensions are for people who are going to view your website, whether it's 800 by 600, 1024 by 720, or whatever you want to use, okay? But that's just what I'm going to use, because that'll fit pretty much anyone screen who's got a fairly, like, um, modern monitor, okay? So I'm just going to go File, Save for Web and Devices, um, you can set the amount of colors used down or up, the more you use, obviously, the longer the web page will take to load. So I'm just going to set it down to 32, and hit preview. Um, one moment. Okay, this is what it'll look like. Um, obviously, we're going to center it and whatnot. Just hit save, and I'm in. Just create a folder. I've created an example Photoshop HTML, and this will save the HTML and images. So just name it index.html. Save it. I'm going to minimize this, open up my example Photoshop, open up the index, and here it is right here. And now, obviously, just going to edit this HTML file, so I'm going to edit with Notepad++. You can use whatever you want to edit it. Just use your pre um, preferred HTML editing software. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to, t first off, we'll go to a table and type a line equals center, and that will just open it up that will just um, center center it of course um, you can change the background color to whatever you want, I could change it to black and refresh and it would be black um, and now when you want to add links to like a l um, links to one of the images for example if I want to link home page to or contact us to a different page then I'm just going to navigate to it on here we can see that because we've named the slices it's a lot easier to find for example here's the contact button and now I'm just going to add a hyperlink I'll just add it to whatever it doesn't matter just for this example okay I've added a hyperlink and as you can see we can now click on it and Obviously, it doesn't go. The page doesn't exist. But um, the only problem, but there's one more thing that we need to do. For any um links that were hyperlink, well, for any fo um images that were hyperlink, do we need to make sure that we set the border to zero? Because otherwise, this happens and it comes all disjointed because of this border going around um the image with a hyperlink attached to it. So to fix that, we're just going to go into our image here, this is the image that we've added a hyperlink to, and just hit, bo just type border equals zero, okay, and now when I refresh this, as you can see, it's all back in place, like so, okay, and that's pretty much how it's done, so this is how to create a basic web page, um, using only Photoshop, um, hope it's helped you out, uh, it's a very easy way to create a web page, though not very efficient, um, but it is easy, Okay, so hope that helped. Bye.